Guys, welcome. Streptococcus is basically uh, classified based on the oxygen requirement as aerobic, anaerobic. Basically, aerobic, anaerobic, right? Mainly. So easy, right? You have understood aerobic, anaerobic, mainly. Here you have facultative anaerobes also. Now coming to the next grouping, hemolysis, based on hemolysis. There you have alpha, beta, gamma. Easy? You are talking about what? Streptococcus. I have to keep reminding you that. Because what happens is you will read everything in microbiology and all the bacteria will get confused, right? So what you do is under streptococcus, remember streptococcus, the way we classify is oxygen and hemolysis. Streptococcus is classified. Streptococcus is classified based on oxygen and hemolysis. Okay. Now, they can ask you this question of classification is in, in a different way. They can ask you Lansfield grouping or Griffith typing. We will come to that, don't worry. Okay. Now, where are we? We finished the alpha, beta and gamma. Now, we have reached here. Now, under alpha, you have nothing but the viridans group. Okay. Streptococcus viridans. Fine. Under beta hemolytic, which is very, very important for you. The main streptococcus, whatever we study, comes in this group. Here you have, based on the carbohydrate C, 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 C for carbohydrate, same C, C for carbohydrate, based on this you have 20 Lansfield groups. How many groups? 20 Lansfield groups. Let me highlight that. 20 Lansfield groups. It is carbohydrate C. Based on this you have 20 Lansfield groups. They are A to V. See, A to V, but no I and J. I and J are missing. Who are missing? I and J are missing. Okay. Got it, right? A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J missing, K to V. K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. No doubt, right? Very good. Now, these, whatever we want, streptococcus pyogenes, it comes under group A. Group A is what? Lansfield groups, first one, group A, okay. This is serological grouping, fine. Lansfield, these words are important, Lansfield. In the exam, they might just ask you directly, Lansfield grouping, please explain. So, you have to explain from the beginning till here. And you have to give an example, group A streptococcus pyogenes is an example. Now, further for every group, you will have zero type, right? For zero group, under that you will have a lot of zero type, obviously, right? In that Griffith type, you have 1, 2, 3, so on, more than 150 are there. Griffith type. So, you have Lansfield grouping, Griffith typing. Now, the serological typing is based on M protein. In antigenic structure, you have seen that the they contain surface proteins like MTR, like MTR gulab jamun. Like MTR, streptococcus has MTR, M protein, the most important act, antigen that acts like virulence factor, right? T and R. Fine. For details about this, you should watch the detailed video, okay? As of now, we are just trying to give you a brief. So, M protein is a surface antigen. It is present in streptococcus pyogenes. And it is very important, important surface antigen and it makes this bacteria virulent, right? And what are the other proteins or antigens? MTR, okay? We are concerned with M here for the Griffith typing. Very good. Now, let us move on further in the classification. Gamma hemolytic. Now, gamma hemolytic, uh, the enterococcus step. Streptococcus, enterococcus, the enterococcus groups here, I think, right? Now, let us move on to the obligate anaerobes. Anaerobes, here you have the non-sporing anaerobes, peptostreptococci, peptostreptococci or peptostreptococci. Not very important for you at this moment. Currently, we are trying to focus on streptococcus pyogenes and its lab diagnosis, correct? Mm -hmm.